okay so welcome to um, this video so this video we'll be talking about kung paano gumawa ng electrical plan using Revit so first we will be um, opening our project by using a template so yung gamitin natin is electrical template so as you can see dito wala yung electrical template so hahanapin natin yan or ipapapir natin yan dito by clicking file options tapos file locations tapos itong plus sign tapos punta tayo sa program data okay. program data autodesk revet 2019 tapos templates so dito tayo sa US metric ito yung gagamitin natin tapos yung electrical default metric that RTE so ang ibig, ibig sabihin ng RTE that is a template no? a template uh, file extension okay tapos click natin yung ok so dito na yan click natin to para meron na tayong electrical template so hihintayin natin na mag load yan okay so nakadepende pa yan kung gano'ng kabilis yung process processor ng computer para malood yung um, electrical template so sa so ngayon ay hihintay pa nating mag uh, load ang electrical template okay so ito na okay so as you can see yung electrical template is the same with the R key and the structural template except na dito sa project browser natin na nakalagay na is electrical then we have two um two lower levels which is lighting and power tapos sa lighting meron tayong four plants at ceiling plan tapos sa power meron tayong power 1 and power 2 2 dash power and 1 dash power tapos same pa rin meron pa tayong elevations then we have here the legends the schedule of quantities and the sheet ito naman yung properties um, tab natin or the properties window kung saan dito natin malalaman yung mga properties at babaguhin yung mga properties ng anumang component at elements na ilalagay natin sa ating drawing na nandito tapos dito sa taas so ito yung uh, toolbar rib ribbon natin so pwede itong magbaguhin to by clicking this one so kung gusto nyo lang yan lang walang mga symbol tapos yung mga symbol ay lalabas lang bigla bigla so parang drop down mino no? pwede rin ito lang talaga wala yung mismong ano drop down mino dito so mangyayari ganyan so, pag, pag click natin to yung buo yung lalabas tapos pag inan click natin so babalik siya sa puro words lang pwede din yung buo na talaga ito yan so about click natin lalabas symbol at yung tool so this is used para if gusto natin yung mas malaking screen or mas malaking drawing area natin so we could just toggle this um, arrow here para makita natin okay so balik natin sa dati yun mas marami yun ito tapos dito tayo muna sa system tab okay sa system tab dito natin makikita yung mga tools na gagamitin natin sa uh, mechanical electrical at plumbing sa map ng ribet so sa MEP ng ribet so sa ating concern na yun is just making uh, electrical plan using ribet so dito tayo sa electrical na toolbar tapos di, ito, ito lahat yung mga tools natin so meron tayong lighting fixtures para sa mga lights devices so that is for electrical fixtures like outlets communication internet uh, the communication is for um, radio uh, satellite tv then data so for the internet fire alarm fire alarm system lighting is for the switches nurse calls is for the um, hospital or the uh, call out for the nurses security is for the anti burglar system and telephone for the telephone um, telephone terminals and the telephone devices then we have the electrical equipment so na click ko yung electrical equipment but nonetheless 
So, we don't need to sell electrical equipment. So, nag-load siya tuloy ng, ano, ng component kasi na-click natin yung electrical equipment. So, escape lang natin to. Okay, balik tayo dito. So, electrical equipment for panel boards, uh, breakers, and transformers. So, conduit fittings. So, for elbows, T's, Y's, crosses, and other unions. And also, the boxes for uh, use for conduits. C cable tray fittings for the fittings of the cable trays. Um, uh, conduit trans, which are parallel. So, that is the use for the tool parallel conduits. Then, you have conduits. Then cable tray and also wire which can be arc, spline, or chamfered. Okay. Then after that, we will go to the manage tab and look for the electrical setting. So manage. Tapos dito tayo sa MAP settings. Tapos electrical settings. Okay, so sa part na to, dito din makikita yung settings ng ating electrical um, drawing. So the hidden lines, this is how we are going to project the lines, all the electrical lines of our drawing. So the general tab is concerned with the naming of the components. So for example, the electrical data style. So connector, descriptor, voltage. So the voltage, then the number of poles, the circuit description, the facing. So we can... Use, use phase 1, 2, 3 or L1, L2, L3. So we just edit this one. Then capitalization for load names. So depending on the source parameters, or we could also have initial sentence or upper sequence. Then the circuit sequence. So the so circuit the sequence. So we could have the plus numerical, group by phase, or add even. Then circuit rating, so we have this one. Then circuit path of offset, so the offset of our circuit. Okay, next is the angle. So this angle is useful for the conduits and the um, cable trays. So the default is use any angle. So the angle, the Revit uh, program will just be the one choosing the angle of our fittings. The top post dito naman sa use specific angles. So we could select this one and we could just uncheck if we, if we only want that our fittings will be 90 degrees, 60 degrees, and 45. Other than that, the rivet will not uh, use this other angle. Okay, so we just go back to the default. Then wire sizes, so all of the sizes of wire. So we could add a new opacity if we want. Then the materials would be copper or aluminum. Okay, so THHN, so these are the available wire sizes. Correction factor is, we, if we are going to have a correction factor when the temperature rises. So, pwede tayong mag-add. Tapos, yung basis nito is yung sa Philippine Electrical Code. Okay. Tapos, ground conductors. So, yung available natin na ground conductors. Wiring types. So, ito yung wiring types natin. So, we could add another wiring types for us. So, this is the default wire that we are going to use. Then voltage definitions, so ito yung importante, so dapat meron tayong voltage definition dito for 230 volts. So, i-add natin. So, 230 volts, okay. Tapos yung exact value niya, that is the value, 230, the minimum. So, we just have that one as 215 for the maximum, so that will be 240, okay, so 240. Tapos sa distribution system, so this is the most important distribution system na we'll be setting up on our panel board or transformer sa ating distribution uh, panels. So we could add this one as 230 volts. So single phase. Okay, so ang gawin natin dito is gawin muna natin three phase para makalagay tayo ng line to line voltage which is 230 volts so if you notice yung drop, drop down mino dito itong drop down mino nang galing to sa ating voltage definitions okay then ibabalik natin siya sa single phase okay kasi yan yung default ng program eh uh, sa philippines kasi nirecognize natin is the line to line voltage as 230 volts and sometimes we don't have the 
line to ground voltage. Of course, we will consider that one also because that is 120 volts. But in designing, so we are only uh, using the 230 volts line to line or 230 volts line to neutral, lalo na sa mga uh, part na sa mga, sa mga provinces. Okay? Then we have the cable settings. So the rise trap, the symbology, the sizes available. So we could also add new size for that if we wala yung size dito na gusto natin gamitin. Then, also the sizes for the conduit. Okay. Then, load calculations. So, it is sum of true and reactive load. So, that is VA or we could have that one as sum of apparent load. Automatic na ilalagay din niya yung, ano, yung uh, true power or yung true load niya. Tapos, panel schedules if how we are going to project our load schedule or panel schedule. Okay. So, yan yung lahat para sa um, electrical settings. Now, we will go to making our drawing. So, the very first thing to do is to click insert, revet. So, link revet. Tapos, hanapin natin dito yung um, architectural plan na gagamitin natin o lalagyan natin ng electrical um, components. So, dito tayo sa project one. So, that is the electrical, uh, the architectural plan that I have uh, made. So, maybe ito yung dinilitan ko ng door. So, dito lang tayo sa taas kasi ito yung backup. Kasi may ginawa ko kanina, nag-delete ako ng door. Eh. Okay. So, ito na. I-load yan ng rivet. Okay. Okay. So, we have now the architectural plan. So, we could maybe we could move this one. Okay. Move natin yung ano niya. So, lagyan natin sa center. It is even important to put that one in the center. So, I believe that is now the center. Then, we go to collaborate. Tapos, copy monitor. Select link. Okay. Tapos, um, copy. Okay. Tapos, click natin itong grid na to. Tapos itong, okay. Tapos itong grade na to. Ito din. Tapos ito. Ito at ito. Okay, tapos click finish. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is i-move natin to lahat. Move natin dito. So, para makopya natin yung grid ng architectural plan natin. So, that we will not be making another grid for this one. Okay? Okay na? So, check muna natin. Copy monitor. Link. Okay. Tapos, punta tayo sa elevations to check if our ele elevations are true. So, for this one, yung elevation ng electrical natin is mas mataas sa elevation ng ano natin, ng ar architectural na itong sa baba na itim. So, we just um, type 3,000 para bumabayad kasi 3,000 yung original distance sa ating archi. Okay. Then, again, we will just align this one. Align natin sila. Okay. Tapos ito rin. Okay. So, we have now the complete. So, ito rin ano, sa ano natin. We could also align this one. Okay, so we have now the grids for our electrical. So if you are going to see the 3D, okay, so this will be the 3D of our um, electrical drawing. Okay, yeah. So 
63D so we have copied the uh, levels okay so tingin ko meron pang hindi na level dito ito so yung sa ano pala yung sa north at south elevation okay yun yung konti okay dun kaya rin sa south okay sa south so dito mas malapit siya so i-move lang natin okay okay so ito rin na bago rin so i-move natin to Okay, so now we will just go back to the 3D. Okay, so ayun. So we have now a perfect uh, 3D representation of our um, architectural drawing linked to our electrical template. So first, we will begin with the power layout. So na yung power layout. Okay, so sa power layout, dito tayo magkiklik sa power plants, power. Then we go to the system tab. Magalagay muna tayo ng electrical panels which is the electrical equipment so ito yung properties tab kung makikita nyo meron na tayong panel dito kasi this panel is uh, ang gamit ko sa previous uh, uh, design na ginawa ko so yun yung magiging itsura nya so with, if, we, if we are going to load another uh, panel so ito lang click lang natin to tapos punta tayo sa libraries okay. ito sa revet tapos libraries view is metric electrical MAP electrical power distribution okay tapos hanap tayo dito ng siguro dito tayo sa surface yan 120 volts okay so ilo-load nyo yan so we will check the panel voltage if it is 230 to 230 so the elevation is 1 2 so we will change this one into 120 amperes okay tapos so sa main natin so maybe we could preset the mains uh, the main so 100 okay amperes okay so that will be all tapos click ok Tapos, kasi yung panel is nasa wall, so that will be placed on vertical face. Tapos yung elevation, if you want to have that one in 1,500 from the floor. So, i-click natin yan. Tapos, i-replace na natin. Okay. So, we have now our power panel. So, i-check mo natin yung distribution system nito. So, dito yung distribution system niya. As you notice na yung nakalagay. Okay. But it is a 230 volt um, 230 volt na 230 volt na panel board okay so now we will just add another component so electrical device so maglalagay tayo ng outlet so load tapos dito tayo sa terminals tapos hanapin natin dito yung duplex receptacle okay so check natin yung parameters this is 230 volts receptacle okay so yung label we natin ng 2 for duplex kasi yung GFCI kasi that, that, that is for wet locations tapos ilalagay na natin dito okay so that is a duplex is also isa rin dito tapos maybe isa dito at isa dito so we could also edit this one so kasi yung symbol talaga ng duplex is walang to na kahit nakalagay sa baba so we just delete this one now so the load of our outlet is 180 so that is the wattage ng ating outlet okay so meron tayo ito so i-rename natin yung panel board natin click natin yung question mark sign tapos maybe we have that as pp1 okay tapos i-move lang natin kasi naharangan yung panel board okay tapos 
itong outlet natin is gagawin na natin circuit dito. So, isi-circuit natin siya dito. So, in doing that, we just click an outlet. Tapos, click natin yung power. Tapos, select panel. Tapos, isi-select natin itong panel to. Okay. So, meron na kalagay. Cannot assign or add um, or add PP1 to the circuit. So, there is no assigned distribution for this panel. Okay, so the reason for that, kaya wala nakalagay na distribution system is dito sa taas. Hindi rin natin ma-load yung distribution system natin. Okay, so ang, ga ang gagawin natin dito is we could uh, edit this one, edit this whole family of this um, of this panel board, or we could just add another panel board. So, magpapalit lang tayo ng panel board. So, electrical equipment, git type, load, so, balik tayo sa distribution. So, maybe dito tayo sa 280. Okay. Tapos, okay, balik tayo. Hindi pala yan po yan, 280. So, dito tayo sa um, ito. Okay. So, tingnan natin kung pwede ba to Okay. So, yung voltage niya. Tapos, try natin kung makikita ba natin yung ano niya. rin yung ano niya, voltage definition so maybe we will find another electrical equipment so hanap tayo sa ibang libraries for that one so maybe we could get from the library from the Singapore so electrical okay so, MEP electrical power distribution so lighting power so dito i-click natin to override okay so try natin kung meron ba to siyang electrical system dito okay distribution system okay Okay, so nakaload tayo dito ng ano yung resist na panel board. So ang gagawin natin is we will now click this one. So ito yung ilalagay natin. Kasi yung ibang distribution system noon is karoon ng konting problema siguro sa pagkapi ng family. Okay. Okay, so distribution system niya is none, but we could have that one as 120/240 volts. Okay, so tapos doon sa uh, manage, tapos electrical settings or the map settings, tapos electrical, yung distribution system na 120 slash 230, so gawin natin itong buong 230 volts single, okay, tapos ito gawin na natin ano siguro, nan, at ito 200 30. Okay. So, click natin yan. So, mangyayari nito yung kanyang distribution system now is okay. So, kanyang distribution system is now a 230 volts. So, gawin natin, babubihin natin yung panel voltage nya. Okay. So, nag-edit tayo ng ano, panel na ito. siyang distribution system siguro may mali tayo sa pangalan nag-like muna natin yung uh, distribution system okay, manage electrical settings tapos ito so, 230 na okay. so yung distribution system niya is now 200 uh, 230 volts single ang gagawin natin is now link natin to so, electrical circuit, tapos select panel. Okay. So, cannot assign or add. Okay. 
sa tingnan natin kasi naka-align to line voltage pa lang siya. Edit muna natin. So, yan yung mayayari sa electrical kapag hindi natin tinignan yung distribution system. Hindi talaga siya mag ano, maglo-load. Okay? Or magko-connect. So, muta tayo sa distribution system. System. Okay. So, dito tayo balik sa electrical settings. Okay. So, ito pala kailangan natin gawan ng 2030 din. Okay. So, connect na natin ulit. Optical circuit. Okay. And name. So, select panel. Click. Okay. So, nag-connect na siya. So, if we are going to have this one, tatab natin hover, tapos tab. So, nandyan na yung circuit voltage niya. So, gagawin natin yan is to rename again. Rename natin to as PP1. Tapos, i-move natin dito. And we'll be adding more all of this one to the circuit. So, i-click lang natin to Electrical circuits. Edit circuit. Tapos, click. Click and click. Tapos, finish. So, if you will hover this one, so, na tayong isang circuit home run sila. Okay? So, again, we will click this one and have maybe, pumili tayo dito na sa arc or sa chamfered. So, we have that one is in chamfered. Okay, so yung itsura niya. Tapos, annotate um, text at lagyan natin dito ng text. So, circuit, uh, circuit 2, 2 because this is for outlets. So, we have now circuit 2. Okay. So, Next, we will just click this one also. Try natin kung ma-edit ba natin yung uh, edit path niya. So, ang ibig sabihin yung path is yung um, farthest offset. So, ito yung pinakamalayo. So, maybe we could edit this one. Okay. So, gawin natin ganyan siguro. Okay. So, finish editing. So, yun yung mangyayari. So, binago lang natin yung path ng ating circuit. Okay. So, that will be our power layout. Now, we will go to the lighting layout and the switch. Okay. So, ito ay sa ceiling. Then, kailangan natin gumawa dito ng ceiling plan or ng ceiling na sa ating mga component. So, as you can see, nakikita pa rin natin dito yung um, yung mga outlets, no? So, ang gawin lang natin is dito tayo sa visibility, tapos graphics, tapos e-electrical fixtures ito. Yan, check natin yan. Apply. So, hindi natin nakikita yung um, outlets. So, para yan, hindi tayo malito. Then, we will be doing is first, we will go to, to i-click natin to Yan, yung buo talaga. So, i-click natin yan. Tapos, edit type. Tapos, check natin yung room bounding. Okay. Yan. Tapos, punta tayo sa um, punta tayo dito sa analyze. Hindi ko na analyze. Tingin ko dito sa ano. Um, saan ba yung maglalagay ng ano. Hanapin uh, na natin yung maglalagay tayo ng room. Yan. Space. Then, ilagay natin dito. So, this one will be a space. So, we'll rename this one into bedroom. Okay. Bedroom. Siguro, we could just delete this one sa baba. Okay. So, ang mayayari naman is mayroon siya. So, bedroom one. Okay. Then, again, another space. So, doon pa rin to sa ano. Analyze, space, tapos ito natin ilagay. Okay. Tapos ito, living space. Okay, living space. So, this will be living space 1. Okay. So, ignore lang natin yung dyan sa baba. Okay, next, we will add ceiling. So, ito yung sa architecture. Ceiling. Automatic sketch. Ito, pwede natin itong ma-auto-sketch ng ceiling. Ayan. Click natin yan. And we will change. Maybe we could change the elevation. So, 25. 
mistake click natin to hindi siya nya 25 now for this one hindi natin to ma-auto um, ceiling so magawin natin is click natin yung ceiling tapos sketch ceiling okay, so i-trace lang natin yung line natin natin to hanggang sa maging close siya na shape so that we could add our ceiling okay so parang hindi siya tumuloy okay Tapos, gawin natin is we just check this one para magkaroon na tayo ng ceiling. So, we have now ceiling for this one. Then, we'll go directly to adding our lights. So, electrical. So, lighting fixture. Okay. So, edit type. Load. Hanap tayo kung anong yung mas maganda para sa atin. So, dito tayo. Back. 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 So, yung symmetric tayo. Lighting. MEP internal so, pwede tayong maglagay ng siguro lagay tayo dito ng ano, trofer light so parabolic or we could have lens ito na lang rectangular so rectangular tapos yung voltage is 230 volts para hindi mag conflict dun sa voltage ng panel board natin tapos ito naka vertical kasi tayo kaya ito yung place on face so apat 1 2 3 and this one okay 4 so yan na apat yung ano natin yung lights natin okay Okay, now we will go to um, making this one is a whole circuit or maybe dadaga natin ng lights para naman mas, uh, mas maliwanag ng konti. Tingnan natin if, we, if the time na mag-render tayo nito mas maliwanag na ba. Okay, so we'll add another light also. Siguro wall light. Okay, so wall. Saan yung wall lights dito? Okay, so ito siguro yung down light. Iba ito eh. Ito. We could have the down light. So ito lang, emergency wall light. Hindi lang ito. Medyo pangit ito. Pinat. Silver na lang. Ceiling linear box. Okay, so... Spotlight. Ito na spotlight. Okay. So, iba natin yung voltage. 230 volts. Okay, we could also change the lumens. Ito. Yan natin ibahin yan so for example we will have the voltage of this one for uh, 50 ok so baguhin natin yung lumens nya ok so yan so meron tayong light no? so isang maliit na light this is a down light ok so we just add that one so siguro isa rin dito tapos siguro o hindi natin lagyan dito na lang so ito na lang siguro isa okay. this is just for um, aesthetic purposes na lang siguro okay so tinama natin sa 3D kung ano yung magiging tsura ng down light natin okay so we have our down light okay okay Tapos, punta tayo sa ceiling plan. So, lagyan natin ito sila ng circuit na ngayon. So, we'll just have this one into one circuit. So, same pa rin sa paggawa ng outlet. I-click natin to Power. Tapos, uh, select panel. Okay. So, 
Ilagay natin yan. Tapos, edit circuit para ma-add natin yung ibang components. Ito, 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 yan. At saka ito. Tapos, finish editing. Hover, tab, click. Tapos, yan. So, meron na tayong um, lighting layout. So, kurang lang is the switch. So, we go to electrical. Device. Lighting. Okay, save mo natin pala yung projects. Yan, sabihan tayo na mag-save ng projects. So, this is electrical plan. Okay. So, save natin yan. Oops. Oh, no. Nag-cancel ko. Sensya na. Yan lang siguro yan. So, dito tayo. Edit. Tapos, load. So, yung lighting switches. So, balik tayo sa electrical. MEP, electrical power, tapos terminal. So, dito din hanapin yung light switch. Yan. Okay. So, ito gawin natin 2. No? 2. Okay. So, ibig sabihin ng 2, tugang to siya. Tugang. Okay. 1, sa din dito bala siguro. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, i-switch natin. So, ito. Click lang natin ito siya. Tapos, ito. Click ba natin yung lights. Tapos, switch. Tapos, select a switch. So, select natin ito. So, ayan. If you hover that one. Okay. So, may switch na siya. Then, click natin ito ulit switch system tapos edit switch system para madagdag natin to so ibig sabihin itong dalawang to ay kuno control ng switch na to and then also this one okay so select select natin to we can also use control para mas marami mas select natin para mas madali tapos switch okay select switch tapos ito so yan so, yan yung, so, yan yung switch niya. Tapos, dito naman sa baba. Control, select. Ano? Select, control, tapos ito din. Okay, tapos switch. Select, switch. Yan. So, meron na tayong switching para sa kanila. So, we could also have the switch line here. So, punta tayo sa annotate. Pwede tayo sa add wire na lang tayo. Add wire. So, spline wire. So, pwede na yung i-add dito. Okay, dyan. So, ibig sabihin yan yung switch niya. Ito rin yung switch niya. Okay. 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 So, pero ang mangyayari kasi mas magiging magulo yung circuit natin. Kaya minsan, hindi niya nilalagay sa plan. So, it is understood this double pole switch here is switch para sa dalawang ito. Ito red. Pas long to at ito para sa dalawang ito. Now we are done with our power circuit and lighting circuit. The next thing to do is to create the panel schedule. So the panel schedule, so dito lang tayo sa analyze. Tapos, hanapin natin yung reports. Yan. Ito yung reports tab. So dito tayo sa panel schedule. Click natin ito. Yung default is panel PP. Okay. So, i-click natin yung panel PP. At ang mangyayari, we have this uh, panel schedule. So, living space, 234 sing single phase, 100 yung ano. So, ang nangyayari kasi is nagiging double column siya. So, if gusto yung single column, ang gawin natin is i-click natin yung panel board. We will click the panel board. Then, we will go to ito, ito. click natin yung panel board natin yan tapos dito panel configuration gawin natin 
one column tapos apply tapos load into project override existing version so ang mangyayari we are going back to our panel schedule okay so so naging isang column na lang siya with par with the matching um loads no okay so ito unahin natin yung drilling lighting drilling so dito click natin yung space na to tapos move up then change natin yung circuit into 15 amperes yung natin yung change dyan so ito na yung buong load nya and ito na mismo yung ano natin yung um, circuit natin o yung panel schedule natin so ito gagawin natin itong lighting okay lighting Outlets, okay. Well, that's for circuit one. Tapos ito naman is convenience, okay. Outlet. It is for circuit two. Tapos siguro nakalimot na nating lagyan dito ng circuit tag, to home run. So punta kita sa annotate, text. Tapos lagyan natin ng C one. So meaning ito yung circuit number. One. So we just move this one. Yan. Okay. So we have now. Okay. These circuits. Okay. So we have our panel schedule. Meron natin tayo yung layouts. The next thing to do for us is to create a sheet. So dito tayo sa view. Tapos sheet. So load natin yung title block. So, dito tayo sa baba. Okay, title block. So, may ginawa akong title block na sinave ko siguro sa Singapore yan. So, dito ko na lang. Yun na lang kukunin ko. Malamang. Okay, so title block open. Okay. Okay. So, maybe let's see if naalala ba yun. So, hindi yata ito. Baguhin natin yung title block natin. So, hanapin mo, hanapin ko muna yung niload ko. O yung ginawa ko. Saan ko yung nilagay? Southeast Asia yata. Okay, ito pala. So, ginawa ko kasi yan na uh, kagabi. Okay. Okay, so this is my title block. So, you can customize also your own title block. I-click, i-double click nyo lang to Itong title block na to Or you go to edit type. So, pwede nyo yung baguhin dito. Or, pwede din sa mismong ano sa mismong dito dito nyo baguhin okay so yung title so yung title niya baguhin natin yung title so to uh, owner so siguro gawin natin yung test da okay da yun okay na wala yun na tapos project name So house, uh, one story, one story residential building. Okay, you could have that one. Yon. Tapos, ito tayo sa uh, pangalan ng sheet. So this will be the electrical layout. Okay. So, yun na. Then, we just go to Sheets. Ito, click lang natin ito. Tapos, right click. Add View. Hanapin natin yung i-add natin. So, Reflected Ceiling Plan 1. Okay. So, ilagay muna natin dito kasi i-fit natin yan. So, the scale is 1 is to 100. Tapos, punta tayo dito sa baba. So, i-click natin ito. Tapos, Activate View. Tapos, i-crop lang natin. Okay. So, crop. Okay. So, para maano siya, magkasya siya sa ano natin, sa sheet natin, sa drawing sheet. Okay. Tapos, exit. So, i-click natin to ulit. 
Okay. Click natin ulit. Tapos, deactivate view. Saka natin ito, yan. O. Kung gusto natin mawala itong ano, ito, mga lines. Okay, yung mga lines na yan. So, we just have to click this one. Okay. Click natin ito sila. Tapos, ito lang. nawala na sila tapos i-activate view okay. so pwede natin itong i-move siguro i-keep lang natin yung ano nya yung crop view okay, para okay. tapos i-move natin dito okay. tapos ito rin pwede natin itong baguhin so i-double click natin or edit type kunin natin yung extension line kasi medyo mahaba yon Okay. Yan. Siguro okay na yan. So, baba na lang natin siguro ng konti. Okay. Tapos, click natin ulit. Baguhin natin yung name dito, which is Lighting Layout. Okay. So, meron tayo Lighting Layout. Yung gusto natin may line dyan, so we could go to Annotate. Tapos, Annotate. Tapos, date line. So, yan na lang natin ito. Lagyan natin ng line papunta dito. Okay. Kasi yan yung kasaga, uh, kadalas ang ginagawa natin sa mga titles natin. Next, we will go to adding also another sheet. So, add, view. So, power. So, first floor, power. Add view to sheet. Okay. If you notice, nasama yung ano natin, lighting layout. So, balik tayo sa power. So, yung mga lights nasama. So, dito tayo sa visibility. I-uncheck natin yung lighting devices and lighting fixtures. Tapos, apply. So, ang matitira na lang is the circuit panel, uh, the outlet and the panel board. So, we go back to our view here. Okay. Tapos, same i-check natin ito dito sa baba ito lahat tapos activate view tapos ikakrap natin okay so drag ko yung isang no? okay crop okay tapos i-uncheck yeah, check natin ito crop region Okay. Tapos deactivate view. Imo move natin to dito. Okay. So i-align lang natin sa lang dalawa. Okay, tapos imo move din natin tong title niya. Okay. Title. Tapos annotate agad. Ah uh, lagyan natin ng ano, line din. We don't know how long the line is. So, pwede ito ibahin dito. Dito na yung mabaguhin yung title. Okay. So, sana ba yan? Ito. So, this is the power layout. So, if you notice, if mabaguhin natin yung power layout, itong name dito sa view name, if you notice dyan, okay, activate view, okay, magbabago din siya dito sa inyong project browser. Okay. Then, the last one is we add another sheet. So, got view, um, sheets, ito, sheet, tapos same na, ano, title block. Then, we will just add a view for our panel schedule. So, sana yun. Yan. Okay. So, we have here our, okay, position mo na natin para hindi mag-lagpas. Okay. Panel schedule. Tapos, baguhin natin yung name dito. So, this will be our panel schedule. Okay. So, ang gagawin lang natin ngayon is ipiprint ito. Okay. So, printing. So, we just have control P or you go to file. File. Tapos, print. Okay. So, 
print natin as Microsoft to PDF. Select views. Ito, select views. Tapos, yung dalawang sheet nang ipiprint natin. Okay. And just... Um, then, combine multiple sheets. Okay. Then, we will have this one as electrical plan. One. So, save. And, automatic, magpiprint yan into PDF na multiple pages. So, isang yung dalawang sheet, ipiprint niya as multiple pages. If hindi, each uh, sheet will be in its own um, file. Kaya, ang clinic ko doon is, ito, ang clinic ko is combine multiple selected sheets. Hindi sa create separate file. Para isang file lang siya kapag print. Okay? Then, hanapin natin yun. So, desktop. Pangalan yung electrical plan 1. So, i-open natin yan. Okay. So, hihintay mo natin mag-load. Okay. So, I believe ito na. So, ito na yung ano natin, layout natin. Okay. So, very easy yung ano, paggawa ng electrical plan using Revit. Okay. So, delete na lang na natin to. So, the next part for us is to test whether our lights will turn off, uh, turn on or not. Okay. So, dito tayo. Tapos, gagawin natin is we just go on with rendering. So, i-render na natin. So, position muna natin yung ano natin. So, just simple rendering. So, ang iyay dito is we will render this one night time. So, para makita natin kung may ilaw ba talaga sa loob ng ano natin. Okay. So, dito na tayo. Yan. Okay, maybe. Ito yun ito. Tapos, ito yung render tab tapos medium okay so gagawin natin is interior artificial lights only para yung mga lights sa loob ang makikita natin sky is siguro ganun natin ano siguro may cloudy then we just render click render so ita try natin kung ano yung kalalabasan niya. Okay, so depending on the speed of the computer, so kung minsan mag-blue screen, so usually pag ginagawa ko to sa laptop ko, nag-blue screen siya, but we will try to um, have this one. Kasi para makita rin natin yung, ano, yung kalalabasan niya. So as you see, so nakita nyo, merong ilaw sa loob yan. So, si Ginawa ko kasi is hindi ko ginamit yung um, yung sunlight yung sa labas. So, nakikita nyo may ilaw sa loob. So, nakikita nyo sa window. Okay. So, para talaga sure, katalas ang ginagawa dyan is tinatanggalan ng wall yung ano yung uh, architectural drawing. So, pwede natin gawin yun. Tapos, ilik natin ulit. But in this case, so, kita naman na mayroon talagang light. So, siguro, lipat tayo ng, ano, ibang view. Doon sa may, sa isang window, siguro. Okay. Okay. So, lipat tayo ng view. So, dito. Try natin dito. Kung may makikita ba tayo. Yan. Tapos, balik tayo sa render. Okay. So, render. yan hintayin na naman natin yung ano mag-render siya So if medyo madaming ilaw so mas marami-rami yung ano natin yung natawag yung mas maliwanag So maybe after this one so makita niyo may ilaw talaga so maliwanag yung sa loob We will try to put a wall light outside so wall light sa labas ng ano So yan so, maybe we'll try to put a wall light outside dito banda. So, it will not um, take longer time. So, i-click natin yung lighting layout. Tapos, dito tayo sa system, electrical, lighting fixtures. So, dito tayo sa load. 
Okay, so napunta naman tayo sa title block. But we will just go to lighting. Saan yung lighting dito? Okay. So, lighting. Yan. MEP. In, ano? Sa external. Teka, sa labas yung lalagay. External. So, try natin yung wall pack light. Yan. Tingnan natin kung we'll try to know if talagang mag-iilaw yung um, rivet. So, we will just also have this one as 120 volts. So, malakas-lakas sa siguro to. So, pag-uwi natin to into 120 watts. Okay. Okay. So, light loss factor. Okay na yan. Tapos, okay. So, dito. Yan, lalagay natin siguro dito, banda. So, yung height niya, dito banda. Yan. So, yung height is 270. Maybe, ibaba natin ng konti para makikita talaga natin siya. Okay. So, ito, click natin. Again, ilagay siguro natin sa 2000 from the base level. Okay. Tapos, i-circuit natin to So, just click ito, i-click natin yung isa i-add natin sya dito na circuit so edit path or edit circuit, add natin yan ok, tapos finish editing circuit click natin to ulit switch system select switch so ito siguro yung switch nya ok so, ok, so yan na ba yung switch nya so we just have to edit switch system, idagdag natin to okay, so we will now go back to rendering so may malaking light tayo dyan so tingnan natin kung anong ilaw ang maibibigay ng light na to okay, so we we'll go now to render okay so we still, we're still using interior artificial lights okay, tingnan natin kung lalabas ba yung light niya okay so as you can see may ilaw so yung ilaw is nakababa yan yung ilaw natin yun yun talagang may ilaw siya okay yun ibig sabihin yan is tama yung switching system natin yun, may ilaw. So, maybe we just uh, pwede, pwede nyo tong laruin dito. So, interior artificial light. Pwede rin exterior artificial light only. Render natin ulit. So, yun, pwede nyo gawin yun. I-laro nyo dito sa, ano, rivet. So, kung gusto nyo, lagyan nyo ng maraming lights. Tapos, ang gamitin nyo lang is the artificial light only. Okay. Atin natin kung ano yung pagkakaiba. Yun. Okay. Yan. So, I think pagkapareho lang kasi we are checking everything. Okay. So, yun. So, talagang may ilaw. So, if you are going just to have the artificial light natin dito lang sa ano, sa park light lang. Okay. So, i-render natin yan. Yung mag-iilaw dyan is the, only this one, the park light. So, we will try that one. Yan. So, yung nag-iilaw is the, the park light only. Okay. So you can also set that one to high best custom view bahala na kayo kasi sa aking laptop kasi pag nag-high ako hindi siya magkaano siya mag blue screen siya. So ito nga maswerte sa medium hindi siya nag blue screen. But nonetheless, yun yung lahat sa electrical. 
So, nagagawa tayo ng electrical layout, electrical plan, the panel schedules, and we are we manage also to test if our light is functioning. So, yun ang lahat. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something as, as always. Enjoy Revet.